everyone, my name is Iris France. Today we are going to learn how to solve for utility maximization problem with the Lagrangian expression by these three steps. So there are three steps we are going to take. The first is to set up the Lagrangian expression. Second, we are going to take partial derivative of the Lagrangian expression with respect to x, y, these are the two goods, and your lambda. Set them equal to zero, then we'll have step three, where we're going to solve for three equations in three unknowns. And then we'll be able to find the bundle x and y that maximizes our utility. So let's start. Suppose we have a utility function that's a cop douglas utility function, where uxy is equal to x to the power of alpha, times y to the power of 1 minus alpha, and your alpha is between 0 and 1. And we have a budget constraint where the cost of bundle Pxx plus Pyy must be less than or equal to your budget i. So the first step is that we're going to set up the Lagrangian expression, where the Lagrangian function is equal to the utility you're trying to maximize, plus lambda times your budget constraint. Notice that it's plus here because we're trying to maximize our utility. And also here, because your cost of the bundle must be less than or equal to the budget. So we have the larger one budget minus the cost of the bundle. So here, inside the bracket, you will see i minus the cost of the bundle pxx plus pyy. So that's how you set up the Lagrangian expression. And step two, we are going to take the Lagrangian expression, take the partial derivative with respect to x, y, and lambda. Set them equal to zero. And therefore, when you take partial derivative with respect to x, you get the first equation, equation one. Take the partial derivative of your Lagrangian with respect to y, then you get equation 2. Notice that I'm setting both equations equal to 0. And finally, take the partial derivative of your Lagrangian with respect to lambda, then you get your budget constraint right here. That's equation 3. So we're going to move on to our step 3, solving for three equations in three unknowns. Notice that I am going to, in equation 1, I'm moving lambda px to the right hand side, and in equation 2, I'm moving lambda py to the right hand side as well. So I can rewrite my equation 1 here. Notice I use a color code. Equation 1 is purple, and equation 2 is blue. So I'm moving lambda px, lambda py to the right hand side. And my next step is this. I am going to look, we have left hand side of equation 1, right hand side of equation 1, same as left hand side of equation 2, and right hand side of equation 2. So I'm going to do left hand side of equation 1 divided by the left hand side of equation 2. That is going to be equal to the right hand side of equation 1 divided by the right hand side of equation 2. So after that, I have this term, I have alpha divided by 1 minus alpha, and here I have x to the power of alpha minus 1 divided by the x to the power of alpha, now times y to the power of 1 minus alpha divided by y to the power of negative alpha is equal to, my right hand side is lambda px divided by lambda py. And as you can see, I have a lot of terms to cross out here. On the right hand side, the lambda and lambda cross out, so I'm left with px over py. On the left hand side, you can see I have alpha over 1 minus alpha, and x to the power of alpha minus 1 divided by x to the power of alpha is equal to 1 over x. And here, y to the power of 1 minus alpha divided by y to the power of negative alpha is equal to y over 1. So I'm having this term here, and notice that with that term, I can express y as a function of x. 
So the next step is this. I am going to move all the time here to the right hand side. So I have y is equal to 1 minus alpha over alpha times px over py times x. So that's my y here. And the final step is that I have the budget constraint px(x) plus pyy is equal to i. And I also know y is 1 minus alpha over alpha times px over py times x. So I'm going to plug this term into my y here. I'm going to plug that in. So rewrite my equation 3. I have px(x) plus pyy, but y is this term here. I'm just plugging it in. Is equal to i. And then notice that I have py and py here. I can cross it out. So I'm left with px(x) plus 1 minus alpha over alpha times px(x). That's equal to i. And the next step is that I am going to pull out my px(x) here. So I have px(x) times 1 plus 1 minus alpha over alpha. And that is equal to i. And notice that 1 plus 1 minus alpha over alpha, if you calculate that, you will get 1 over alpha. So I have px(x) times 1 over alpha is equal to i. So I know my x are the solving for x. That is equal to moving everything to the right hand side. I have x star is equal to alpha over px times i. So once I find out what my x star is, I will be able to solve for y because I know y is equal to 1 minus alpha over alpha times px over py times x. So I'm just going to put in the x star here. Then I will be able to solve for y. So x star is just equal to alpha over px times i. So I plug it in and I calculate that. You can notice that alpha is going to cross out and px is going to cross out. So I'm left with y star is equal to 1 minus alpha over py times i. So these are the three steps using Lagrangian expression to solve for utility maximization problem. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.